Halo work made in Germany, which is inspired by Jean Prouvé's potent light. Up to this period, we can still see that Jean Prouvé's furniture are being used as seen in Kate Stokes' Coco Flip Studio. The owners of Bibliotech have been making custom furniture in Sydney since 1998. It was inspired by Charlotte Perrien and Jean Bouvet's design. IBM Travelling Pavilion, Italy. The design was inspired by Jean Bouvet's good craftsmanship and skills in prefabrication in his work because the pavilion had to be easily disassembled, transported into a different city and quickly set up again. Centre Georges Pompidou by architects Renzo Piano and Richard Rogers. Their design used a lot of metal structures just like Jean Prouvé, the designer they looked up to. G-Star and Vitra collaborated with Jean Prouvé's family to present a collection of his furniture. Lawrence and Patrick Seguin discovered the work of Jean Prouvé in the late 1980s through his furniture designs. They opened the gallery in Paris in 1989 and possessed the world's largest collection of Jean Prouvé's structure. To sum it up, continuous success came after he gave his very first lecture at Conservatoire de Zazi Miti. Jean Bouvet was a French metal worker. He then began producing modern metal furniture of his own designs and became one of the most dominant furniture designers. Bouvet was influential in the development of the idea of nomadic architecture, likening a chair to a house, and designing both with portability in mind. His own house, which he designed as a prototype, is now considered a major development in prefab housing. Metal girders were directly placed on the ground at intervals of 2 meters. Square metal chutes were then bolted behind the girders. The two materials were used because he believes in likeness of his designs. Concrete slabs were then laid above the girders with an underlaying heating system that runs pipes of hot water beneath to overcome cool weather. He placed two stone walls at each end for stability. At the rear of the house, simple wooden panels were fixed to metal and gold buttons. The front facade was made by prefabricated front panels that was recovered from his late workshop. The panels were fitted with sash windows that included metal shutters that allowed natural air ventilation. Hot-hole aluminium panels were used and designed in a circular manner because John Rive believes that the views through hot-hole constantly speeds and leaves assemble into different landscapes that sets the house into another dimension. Glass panels were also part of the front facade that could optimize natural lighting, view, and a perfect feel of the environment. Your movie made use of the wooden panels as partitions for cupboards and shelves as storage was limited for a small house.